So I know that I'm a little bit late to the party on this, but I, I couldn't not talk about this. So I want to discuss the new ad put out by Marjorie Green, where she shoots a car that says socialism on it with a gun. Now, I get why people are kind of taken aback by this because it's kind of a tacit endorsement of violence, but this whole meme of Republicans pretending to be tough and shooting things that they don't like in their political ads, it's not new. Like, the trope has existed for quite some time. I can recall politicians back in the 2010s, you know, they'd print up the entire thousand plus Affordable Care Act legislation and then shoot it with a gun. And they say, that's what we're going to do to Obamacare. And it's just extremely cringeworthy. And this is what Marjorie Taylor Greene did when she was running for Congress. She literally wrote socialism on a sign and she shot it. I mean, it's an embarrassing way to virtue signal, but they continue to do it and they think that it's a good idea. But a lot of people are talking about it. And so I want to join this conversation because I have quite a bit to say about this. So uh, nevertheless, take it away, Marjorie. Joe Biden abandoned Americans in Afghanistan, got 13 of our best soldiers killed, gave a kill list of Americans to the Taliban, and armed an Islamic terrorist nation with $83 billion in weapons like this one. Biden should be impeached. Now I'm doing a gun giveaway of my own, but for Americans only. I want you to win this 50 caliber rifle that Democrats will ban if they keep the House next year. While Joe Biden broke America's pledge to never leave a man behind, Nancy Pelosi is sneaking the Green New Deal into the $3.5 trillion budget. And in 2022, I'm going to blow away the Democrat socialist agenda. website below and sign up to win my 50 caliber gun before Joe Biden bans it. Well, I for one uh, believe that socialism has been thoroughly destroyed because she shot a car that had socialism printed on it. This woman is mentally ill. I just, I, I feel like even though it's Marjorie Green and she's incredibly idiotic, there's got to be something deep inside of her that maybe just leads to her question for a second. Should I be doing this as a grown adult? Is this a little bit childish? Is this a little bit cringeworthy? But there, there's no, there's nothing, right? That mechanism, that self-awareness thing that's inside of us that gets us to think twice about embarrassing things that we do she doesn't have that. It's lacking in her. Like, what do you think that's going to accomplish? You're a politician. So is shooting a car that looks like a perfectly good car, is that really the best way to, like, promote your message? I, I just, if it's that easy, then um, I'm going to try it. Give me a second. Okay. See this? Capitalism. It's not in focus, but it says capitalism. I just destroyed capitalism. It's that easy. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm joking, like, I feel like a douchebag doing that because it's so fucking stupid. It's so cringeworthy. And at the rate that she's going, like with how absurd her ads are becoming, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the next ad that she put out. Save America, stop socialism. I don't know what I liked more about that. Um, if I liked when she was like, <laughs> <laughs> in its face <laughs> or the fart like th that's where we're at right if a republican unironically released that as an ad i would be like yeah i'm not shocked honestly that's the level of discourse that we're dealing with with the modern republican party they're that fucking 
stupid. They're that galaxy brained. It's just, it's so embarrassing. And, and this violent imagery that they always depict in their ads, they're the first to blame violent video games and clutch their pearls about naughty words and profanity. And if you disrespect God and their religion, but yet they act so tough. It's like they want to have it both ways. It's this contradiction, right? They want to present themselves as these like badass, tough, you know, uh, take no malarkey kinds of people. But these are really the biggest snowflakes on the planet. So uh, I don't even know what to say. Um, I just wanted to talk about this ad because I wanted some excuse to shoehorn in that TikTok video of the girl farting on the uh, the punching bag thing. I'll be honest, that's 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 my intent here. Um, I, I would like honestly, unironically though, if the Republican Party wanted to kind of workshop some ads with me. I think we can make it a lot more ridiculous than her shooting that car that says socialism on it. There's so much things that you can do. So much things you can do, right? I mean, I have all the ideas swirling around in my head right now. Um, but look, I, I just I look forward to what she comes up with next. She shot a sign that says socialism. She shot a car that said socialism. So the only other thing that I could think of that would like outdo those other ads is if she like spray painted socialism on a building uh, on a building and then like demolished it but i don't know marjorie green is a fucking moron and this is this is exactly what you'd expect from her that's the level of substance that you should expect from dumb fucks like her